Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you all for being here. I'm over. You got to pan the whole uh, 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 area to find me. Uh, who's speaking? I know. We're gathered today to address a disturbing issue at the intersection of politics, activism, and corporate influence. The growing trend of liberal activists and private equity firms using dark money to fund frivolous lawsuits aimed at stifling industrial activity, political discourse, and civic engagement. A fundamental tenet of our legal system is that those who have been harmed can seek a remedy by bringing a claim to be adjudicated before the courts. When a remedy is obtained, it is supposed to go to those who were harmed. Increasingly, that is not the case in today's legal system, as some courts are being used to pursue social activism for special interests. Even more concerning is the fact that wealthy foreign actors with no skin in the game have begun backing scores of private law firms to sue American businesses for billions of dollars in damages. These payments mean the law firms have all their costs subsidized, and yet these same law firms are hired by state and local governments on a contingency fee basis. Ms. Steinitz, how are you today? Did I get it right, Steinitz? You did, yes, okay. thank you. Isn't it true that law firms receiving funding to cover their expenses and fees from wealth, special interest groups, who also get contingency fee agreements from local and state governments, have no risk while they stand to recover tens of millions of dollars, if not more, from contingency fee arrangements? I'm not familiar with those uh, arrangements, uh, so I, I can't comment. In recent years, a number of investors, including Arabella advisors, George Soros and Leonardo DiCaprio, as well as foreign funders like Christopher Hone and Hans-Jörg Wies, have funneled tens of millions of dollars into organizations that fund climate litigation targeting American energy producers. Ms. Steinitz, again, are you aware that several nonprofit organizations backed by Soros, DiCaprio, and Wies, for which these wealthy individuals likely seek tax breaks, have also made donations directly to law firms that bring climate-related lawsuits? I'm not familiar with that, sorry. Not familiar with anything that I'm saying right now? No, I'm afraid I'm not. Okay. The Soros-backed New Venture Fund and the DiCaprio-backed Resources Legacy Fund have given millions of dollars to the California law firm Share Edling, which is responsible for bringing over a dozen climate litigation cases. In addition to this special interest funding, Share Edling is entering into fee agreements where it stands to make tens of millions of dollars. And it does not end there. Michael Bloomberg is funding a program through NYU Law where they place attorneys in state attorney general's offices, where those embedded attorneys are working on some of the same climate litigation where Share Edling is also receiving a contingency fee. Ms. Steinitz, does that arrangement create concerns for you about the influence of wealthy special interests on litigation purportedly brought on behalf of taxpayers and who really plans to benefit? Again, I'm not familiar with these particular arrangements, but the, the general point that we should be interested as a public in who uh, influences the various branches of government, including the judiciary, is a point I agree with. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. 